are arrhythmias truly dangerous do they have any life threatening implication how do they impact our heart functioning as i said we have two types of heart beating which is irregular that means either fast or slow normally we have a heart beating of between 60 to 90 when we sleep it may go down to 40 50 and when we do some activity it may go up to 130 140 like that in when we do exercises but these are all physiological but there are times when they become abnormal because of heart beating comes from an abnormal focus or our normal heart beating generating center is not working properly so the heart beating comes from an abnormal center and when we have a slow heart beating most of the time it is because the way the heart beat is traveling in our heart there is some blockage somewhere in this so if somebody is generating a ventricular arrhythmia they are considered to be really life threatening and they need to be treated immediately if these heart beatings take an abnormal proportion like ventricular arrhythmias we need to immediately take the patient to the hospital and make sure that it is reverted otherwise there is a chance of risk to death so third problem which happens with irregular heart beating is patients can develop brain stroke like especially patient with atrial fibrillation can develop brain stroke the treatment for slow heart beating is is we have to make sure that the patient gets the beat reaching the the end end organ that is the ventricular muscle so that we can generate the pulse so for that we generally put the patient on a pacemaker so be careful be alert and reach out to your doctor the moment you have any of these thank you like comment and subscribe for more health updates